Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Well, I don't know where to begin with how I've been doing. I have had this sinus infection now for two months and I really think that the reason is because I've been getting dehydrated from the infection and then the hospitals don't want to give me the fluids and it's like this ongoing cycle. I probably would have been better off if I had been admitted to the hospital but you guys know how that goes. It's very hard to get admitted to the hospital if you're not like literally on the verge of dying. That's how long they wait. It's, it's really unfortunate. I'm hanging in there and I finally found a new doctor and I'll be getting surgery on November 5th. So hopefully that will help the sinus pain that I've been having. So he thinks that not only is it gonna make a difference with the pain that I'm having, but it should also make a difference in my energy level. So I'm hoping that maybe this is something I was looking for. You know, I, I said from the beginning that I would search for ways to improve my energy level. And if this is a way to do that, I hate to get surgery. I'm all about dealing with things naturally, but I think at this point, this might be the best option for me. I've been in pain for years with this and it's only gotten worse. Aside from that, I actually, debated, I went back and forth about whether or not I should drop my classes or keep up with them and luckily my professors have been really understanding so I'm trying to stick with it and just see how it goes. And I just wanted to make a quick video just to update you guys and also because today I am like fired up about dysautonomia awareness. I'm so excited. There's so many exciting things going on right now in the dysautonomia community. First of all, our petition got over a thousand signatures. That was more than I ever imagined. I thought maybe we would have 200 at the most. So to see, it's actually 1,200, to see 1,200 signatures in one place and all of your stories, it's just amazing. And I really think that this is gonna work. I think that we are slowly spreading awareness. I see so many positive things happening right now. Another thing that happened is I got my article published in the local newspaper and it basically just talked about how nobody could diagnose me and I diagnosed myself and how I'm trying to spread awareness through my YouTube channel. Actually it was published the day I was in the emergency room getting fluids so it was really exciting just to see that and just to feel like maybe I'm making a little bit of a difference here. I see so many people doing things to spread awareness. If you guys are familiar with Dustin Wood, he's a comedian on YouTube who has EDS and POTS as well. And he's starting a collaboration channel on YouTube where he's going to get everybody together to make videos. So that's exciting. And gosh, there's so many things. I've heard about a few people reading books. Margaret, Dr. M, she actually sent me her book called It's Sitting Right There on My Shelf called No More Tears. And that is just amazing to see people talking about this and writing about it and I see people on Facebook posting notes and stuff like that so it's great. I have all these ideas coming up for upcoming videos and different things that I want to do that I'm really excited about. I feel like this is our time. I think we're really doing it now and maybe come next year and the year after more and more people will know about this and it won't be so unheard of. That's my hope anyway. It was great talking to everybody who emailed me who saw my newspaper article. I never expected to get in touch with a lot of people right in my area who have POTS and that is so exciting. I'm actually thinking about trying, attempting to start a support group in the area which would be wonderful for everybody here. Here's a clip of me at the thrift store the other day. I don't know how many of you are sound sensitive but sometimes sounds can like instantly make me black out. I don't know what causes it. It is totally frustrating because I used to be a concert goer, I loved loud sounds, and now I go to a loud restaurant or a loud store and I'm like on the ground. So <laughs> here's a clip of that. So the sounds, actually they just stopped the music, but there's music and there's a lot of sounds and it just makes me exhausted and I can't have, it makes me have pretty sick of being, I can't even talk, I just feel so happy. Oh, I'm on the floor, I'm exhausted, I have to lay down because I feel like the brain is out, it's just all of the sensory stuff that just kills me, I cannot deal with it, I feel like, pass out, and as you can tell, I'm completely I'm 
All right, well, that's it for today, and I hope you all are doing wonderfully, and I hope everybody is having a very good weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Well, I went grocery shopping without having a problem. See, that's the good thing about POTS. It can make, like, normal grocery shopping trips amazing because you just come out and you're like, I didn't have a problem, and it's so exciting. Like, I want to celebrate right now. Is that insane? People are looking at me.